Hello there, I'm Jeanette Lane, a craft designer at Craft Stash, and in today's video, I'm sharing how to create an easy gatefold card. I am loving this, it's so interactive, it's so easy and it's so fun, and I'm using the latest Apple, Apple. Blossom release, which is Heartfelt Moments Collection. I think you're really gonna love these stamp sets, so make sure to check those out. I will have them linked for you below as well as everything else that I'm gonna use in this tutorial. So let's dive right in. To start off your gatefold, you're gonna wanna grab a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock, preferably one that has a different pattern on each side. I feel like it adds more interest to your project when you have a cute pattern on both sides. So now we're gonna trim up our card. So it's gonna be 12 inches by five and five eighths inches. So let me grab my paper trimmer and I can trim that down. So again, I'm trimming this, so I don't have to trim the lengthwise because it's gonna be 12 inches, but I'm doing, uh, the width is gonna be five and five eighths. Again, the measurements for my card are 12 inches by five and five eighths inches. That's really difficult to say, five and five eighths. And next, I'm going to score at two, four, eight, and 10 inches, and I'm gonna be using my Hunky Dory Adorable Scoreboard to help me out with that. So let me just grab that and I'm going to score at two, four inches, eight inches, and 10. is my gatefold card and you can leave it as is but to add a little bit of interest I'm going to be trimming from here from so from the eight inch score line and also the four inch score line and I'm going to trim across like this and I'm going to measure this out so that it's even on both sides so I'm going to trim at about two and a quarter inches so two and a quarter so right there, I'm gonna measure it on both sides. And I'm also gonna mark my uh, eight inch score line just so I don't forget that I'm going to cut from the eight inch score line, not the 10, because that'll give me a completely different card. And so from this side, it's gonna be the four inch score line. And again, two and a quarter. So two and a quarter inches from the top. So that leaves us right about there. Mark it with a pencil. And so here are my pencil marks. Maybe you can't see them on camera. So again, it's at two and a quarter on both sides. And then at the four inch score line and the eight inch score line. So let me grab my paper trimmer so that we can trim those lines up. So what I'm doing is lining up my pencil points on the cut line, not my pencil points, my pencil marks on the cut line, making sure that each of the points is on the cut line, and then we're going to close this up and trim it. And then again, we're going to line up our pencil marks on the cut line, and then trim. And now we're left with a really beautiful interactive base for our gatefold card. Okay, so this is what it looks like now opened up. You can see where we cut our lines. And then when you close this up, you have a nice gatefold card, a nice base to work with for our welcome home card. I think the most difficult part about this project is trying to figure out what side you want to be your front, your card front. So I think I'm gonna go with this side, but really it was a hard decision. <laughs> Very indecisive, but I decided on this side. Before I move on to using my new home heartfelt moments stamp set by Apple Blossom, I wanted to ink the edges of my card with Rusty Hinge by Tim Holtz. So this is a great color, just very light brown because I felt like it just needs a little pop of color here so that you can really delineate the folds, see where those gate folds are. So we're just going to lightly add some color all around on every edge. 
Now, if you don't want to ink your edges, you definitely don't have to. I just felt like it just needed just a bit. If you have a more clean style, then you can leave it as is. Do what feels right for you. Do what you like. Make this project your very own. Okay, I am done with my inking and I'm gonna move on to stamping. So I've got some cardstock here and I'm gonna stamp the uh, trees and also the home in my new home Heartfelt Moments stamp set by Apple Blossom. It's such a great stamp set because the sentiments are so large. You've got almost a six inch sentiment, which is fantastic if you wanna make some larger projects. I'm gonna be doing some watercoloring. So I've got my house stamp mounted on my block. And for watercoloring, a great ink to use is VersaFine ink. And I'm gonna be using it in the color Onyx Black. So making sure my stamp image is nice and inky. <laughs> inky, I guess that's the best word for that. And I'm gonna do two, two houses just in case I mess up or just if I wanna play with different color variations and see what works best. I always like to stamp some extra images and it's just helpful to, in case you have another project in the future coming up, you've got a backup copy already stamped and ready to go. And now I'm gonna stamp my tree. And I need about five, I think I used five for my card, but you can add more if you'd like. I'm just gonna stamp a bunch of little trees on here and then we're going to watercolor these images. And for my paint colors, my watercolor paint colors, I'm gonna be using a combination of the Creative Expressions palette, watercolor palette and also some Distress inks by Tim Holtz. I love watercoloring with Distress inks. I'm gonna be using my water brush for watercoloring, and you don't have to be too precise, especially because I am going to fussy cut these in just a bit, so if I go outside of the line, that's completely fine. I'm using two tones for the trees, so a darker tone and a lighter tone, just to give our card some interest. As I paint every layer of color, I'm gonna grab my heat tool and dry it before I add more color to it. And the heat tool is completely optional, but I feel like it just speeds up the drying time and also helps <laughs> the length of this video. Otherwise, it would be a very, very lengthy video. Okay, I am done with my watercoloring, so now I'm just gonna fussy cut my house and my trees so that I can attach them to my gatefold card. Before I move on to gluing my house and my trees, I wanted to grab my sentiment because I'm gonna heat emboss this in copper. And what I had to do, because like I mentioned, these sentiments are really large, I ended up trimming my stamp so that I would be able to fit new home onto my work surface, onto my card base, sorry, not my work surface. <laughs> And so that way I can fit my sentiment onto there, but you don't have to trim up your sentiment if you don't want, but I had to just because it wouldn't have fit on my card. So now I can heat emboss this in copper. So let me grab my stamp block and I'm going to ink this up using the Ranger Letterit embossing ink pad, which I love because it is so juicy and it's great for embossing. And the copper colored embossing powder that I'm gonna use is from Creative Expressions Cosmic Shimmer in Ancient Copper. Now that I have my new home sentiment, I want to stamp welcome. So welcome is gonna be here, and then to your will be right up here. So to do that, I'm just gonna use black ink and I'm gonna be using the VersaFine Onyx Black again. Now that I'm done with my stamping on my gatefold card, I'm gonna add my house and my trees with some foam tape and also some liquid adhesive. But before I do that, I wanted to add just a small little outline in white gel pen on all the different panels. I feel like it makes the panels stick out just a little bit more and adds more interest to the card. And also it has a kind of like a rustic kind of feel. So I really like that. So I'm just gonna go over the edges, all the edges of my card. Now it's time to glue everything down and for my adhesive, I'm using a combination of foam tape dots and also some acrylic liquid glue because I want some of these uh, elements, some of these trees to lay flat, but I also want some of them to pop just to add more interest to my card. So my house, I'm definitely gonna use foam tape because I wanna give it just a little bit of lift so that it pops off the card 
And then for my trees, I only want a few of them to pop up. So maybe one of the trees there can pop up. And then for this one, two of the trees will pop up. So let me get started on gluing. And now I can glue down the house and it has that extra pop and we're almost done. The last thing I'm going to do is first of all, put a little bit more glue on this little tree trunk here, it's sticking out too much and I wanted it to be flush. Now that everything is glued down the way I like, I'm going to add a twine bow to my card front with just a dot of liquid adhesive. And this just adds a little bit of fun texture to my card and I am done. Oh my goodness, I'm really happy with this card. It looks so cozy. I definitely want to live here now. I hope that you were inspired by this gatefold card design and that you create your own. And of course, you don't have to make this for a new home. You can use anything to decorate your panels. And don't forget to check out the Heartfelt Moments Collection by Apple Blossom. It's fantastic. You're gonna fall in love with it. I know that I did. I've been having so much fun working with these and I know that you will too. Everything I use today is available at craftstash.co.uk where you'll find heaps and heaps of inspiration and how-tos. I'm Jeanette Lane and I will see you all really soon. Have a great day.